Welcome back to the show. Joining us now on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline from the Pacific Northwest is Jacob Brugman playing for AAA Tacoma, an affiliate of the Seattle Mariners. Jacob, My nice Seattle to have Mar you back on the show. My Seattle Mariners. It's great to be back, guys. How's life in AAA Tacoma? Jerem wants you to say it's the best thing ever because of his Mariners affiliation. It's really nice. I really like it here. It's a beautiful city, and uh, the organization has been great to me so far. The Pacific Coast League is like your second home, right? You, you've been able to play in that league not only with the A's, but now with the Mariners. Um, what's it like playing in the PCL? And uh, you have some BYU teammates in there too, right? Yeah, the, I love the PCL. It's, um, it's, it's a lot better, than I, I think, than the IL, which is the International League. Um, that's more East Coast. So uh, the PCL is great. And, yeah, there's a few guys. Um, I got to go to breakfast, actually, with a few BYU guys uh, last week. So it was cool. Who, who was that? And uh, how often does something like that happen for you? Uh, it hasn't happened in a while, but um, I was able to go with Taylor Cole and Brennan Lund. It was a, they came to Tacoma, and it was we had a nice little breakfast before one of our night games. It was it was really awesome. What's it like to have multiple BYU guys in the same league that uh, you match up against? It's fun. Uh, it's always a good time to you know just see some old faces, some friends, and then uh, you know just get together you know it, that BYU uh, alumni blood is pretty strong so it's, it's a cool relationship to have we had Taylor Cole on the show yesterday it was really cool to talk to him after he started the first two innings of that no hitter on Friday did you happen to catch that story yeah that's amazing um I I didn't even know he was starting that day and when we got in from our game you know they had the no hitter up there and we watched the rest of it, and it was just – I couldn't believe that he was part of that. It's such a big uh, moment in his career, and I'm so happy for him. Jacob Brugman, former BYU baseball standout, current member of the AAA Tacoma Rainiers, with us on BYU Sports Nation. You've been in the big leagues. You've played with the Oakland A's. You've been to the big show, now back down to AAA. What's life like as uh, you, you hope to break back in with the Mariners? Uh, you know, you just try to – go about your business the same way and, and try to just get back. You claw your way back as, as, as hard as you can. Uh, and, you know, it's, it's been good. It's been a, a learning experience, and I think the more time you get to grow as a player, the, the better you'll be. Since July 2nd, you've had a hit in all but two games, so you've been on a nice little stretch here. What's changed for you at the plate? I don't know. I usually after the All Star break, I get a little. I have a little slow bat coming back, but uh, this time wasn't the case. So it was it was nice to see that. Um, but you know, I just make some small changes from the last few years, um, and this year they've been uh, paying off. You are hitting 277, 10 home runs on the season, and this after you went from one coast to the other from. My favorite team's organization, the Baltimore Orioles, to Jerem Jordan's beloved Mariners. Uh, what, how would you explain the transition from Norfolk and Baltimore going all the way to the Pacific Northwest? It's pretty crazy. It's coast to coast. Uh, you know, you don't really plan for these things, and uh, you just got to take it one day at a time. Uh, it, it's it was it was nice to get back on the West Coast for sure. <laughs> How do you handle the uncertainty of the day-to-day -day grind of being a, a minor league baseball player that hopes to be a major league baseball player, but any second you could go up, you could go down, you could be moving, you have a family, right? Uh, what's that like emotionally? Mm -hmm. Oh, man, it's, it is, it's kind of a lot, uh, but you do get used to the, the movement because you see it every day with all your teammates and um, – and the older you are, the more you play, the more used to it you are. So it's it's uh, it's it's a lot, but you know I got a great family. My wife's amazing, and she really is uh, the champ here with the two kids at home and taking care of them. And and you know wherever I am, she'll she'll come out and see me. So she's she's the winner here. 
We'll go ahead and clip that soundbite off and send it to you so you can play it for her later. Anniversary, Mother's Day, <laughs> and so on, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Jacob, what's the biggest difference between AAA and not so much the bigs, but we want to know the difference between single A, double A to triple A. What, what kind of difference is there in play style and just in lifestyle overall? Um, it's, it's, it's pretty different. Uh, there's, there's a lot of AAA teams here that are, um, you know, we kind of joke around and call it 4A, you know, cause they're, they're nice fields and they're not like, they're a little better than AAA minor league, but they're not quite big league. So they say 4A, it's just a little joke, but you know, the, the low A teams, uh, it's a bit more of a grind. The food's not as good. Hotels aren't <laughs> as good. Um, and that's a, that's a big thing. Cause that's where we spend all our time. So, uh, as, as for the play, the style of play and the, the talent, you know, everyone has the talent. It's just, they all got there. Um, but it's just, a, it's, um, everyone is just a little more sharp. I guess you'd say everyone is just a little more polished, um, with their skills. And, uh, that's, that's basically the main difference. Last Thursday, you were a triple shy of the cycle. And it seems like a triple would be the hardest one to get. Did you have an at-bat for a chance at a triple? And if so, how do you even try and get a triple? Uh, yeah, that's hard. Um, I was <laughs> I was hoping I'd get it. I've been wanting one of those for a while. But um, the triples are hard, and you really can't. I mean, <laughs> you can't really try to do one or the other. But um, I struck out twice after going three for three with the single double triple. So. Were you going for the triple? So, Were you swinging for the corners? <laughs> some would say maybe I was trying a little too hard. <laughs> but did, did you feel the pressure of that, though? Like, oh, man, if I get a triple, like, this is going to be it. A little bit. I was more worried about making it to third because I was a little sore, and I, was, I, I knew I had to run pretty hard, so... Jacob, as we've documented, you're doing some really good things at the plate right now. Where do you feel like you want to get better specifically and take the next step so that uh, the big club has to say, look, we got this guy's playing well, we got to call him up? 